Welcome to the second episode of how to maintain a bond in old school RuneScape. In this series, I'm going to be showcasing loads of different methods for getting money. And the idea is that if you did these methods for just one hour a day, you would have enough or sometimes more than enough for you to buy a bond at the end of the 14 days worth of membership. Throughout the series, I'll be guiding you through the methods used as well as doing the moneymaker for an hour myself. The prices of bonds usually go anywhere from in between 3 and 4 mil. So for this series, we're going to go right down the middle and assume that bonds are 3.5 mil, which means you need to make at least 250k in the hour to maintain a bond for 14 days. If you want to be more accurate with the GP an hour needed for your bond, just take the current price of the bond and divide it by 14, and that's going to tell you how much you need to make every hour to afford a bond in 14 days. In this video, we're going to take a look at an often overlooked monster that has a pretty decent drop table, and that is called the Locust Rider. A level 98 monster located in Sophenum shown on screen now. These are perfect to kill because you take no damage since you'll be playing protect from range and you can AFK in one spot for around 10 minutes before needing to re-aggro as well. The drop table consists of various items, a lot of which are either stackable or noted, and for the drops that aren't, they're usually pretty good items to alk, so it's worth bringing nature runes and fire runes for the high level alchemy spell as well. The GP an hour here does depend on what level you are and how high you can hit. You can make anywhere from 250k to 1.2 mil an hour, but even as a lower level you should still be able to make enough money in the hour to get a bond in 14 days. Locust riders are locked behind some requirements, but there's nothing you can't get done in a reasonable amount of time. You need to complete the contact quest up until you can access the Sophenum dungeon, don't be one of those people who partially completes it though, just get it done and progress your account even more. You're also going to need at least 40 prayer for protect from range. If you're not a pure, I'd recommend completing recruitment drive and the slug menace quest for the initiate or the proselyte armor, and completing Fremenic Isles for the helm of nate is not as advised as well. 20 defense, 40 attack and 40 strength are the lowest stats that I would recommend coming here with. So let's go over the gear you should be using. You want to have as high prayer bonus as possible, that's why I recommend getting the initiate or the proselyte armor, since they're some of the best prayer armor you can get for mains. And if if you're pure you can use any of the vestment robes. The higher your prayer bonus is the slower your prayer will tick down so you don't just blitz through all your prayer parts. And a stab weapon is recommended since that's what they're weak to. Use any form of the RD cloak for stab or attack bonus or you can just use a fire cape if you want to. You'll also need a light source and I'd recommend bringing a candle lantern since it's a lot harder to misclick and extinguish a lantern in your inventory. For the gear cells being shown on screen now you can obviously swap out any of the items if you can't afford them or if you don't have access to them so just change up the gear to whatever setup suits you best. You can get here by using a Narda teleport or by going through the shanty pass and taking the carpet rides until you get to soften them. Copy my inventory and you should be able to last for quite a while without banking as well. Once you're here, you're going to want to go down this trapdoor and follow this path. Pray mage as you run past the first guy and then just down here. If you've completed the contact quest, the bank is just outside of the trapdoor you climb down, so it's great for fast trips, and that is also why you should complete the quest as well. When you're here, you need to just keep protect from range on, and if you're more experienced, you can pray flick to make the trips last a lot longer as well. Just finished the hour, and as you can see, I managed to make 403k. This is the loot, 131k cash, a lot of the drops are from raw cash, and obviously you get a lot of money from alking the drops as well. It's not all entirely profit, because I've got to work out how much I used on the prayer pots and the super attack and strength pots, so let's go work that out now and then we'll work out the real profit that I made. So I managed to use 81k in supplies, it would have been a little bit less but I managed to alk a prayer pot 4 dose, so yeah, forehead. <laughs> Gonna take 81k from the cash and then we'll work out how much profit I actually made. So as you can see, 322k is the actual profit I made in the hour, which is really nice and that is plenty enough to maintain a bond in 14 days and you'll have some left over as well which is amazing obviously i am a med level account at level 96 so if you're a lower level the profit won't be as good but you can still come here and make probably like 230 to 250k an hour i bet so you'll still be able to maintain a bond in those 14 days which is really good as well and that is going to be the end of the video hopefully this helps you out whether you're trying to get enough to buy a bond or if you're just going for your first one mil cash stack this is definitely a worthwhile money maker and i don't think it's known to too many players despite these being in the game since the release of old school anyway if you enjoyed all this helped you out let me know down in the comments subscribe if you're new and don't forget my cc is always open you can join by clicking the clan chat option at the bottom left of the inventory type in my username which is motson and you'll be in very welcoming community and it's building up really nicely as well thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one